Ranking the best defensive tackles in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be updating defensive tackle. Now, before I do want to head re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now, let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. And really what I think changes is, I think there is a slightly new S tier. John Madden, for me, is still going to remain S tier. I still don't know why this card is so good. Like, when you look at him, he has no pass rush traits on yes. But I swear, he always gives me problems. Like, honestly, I could low-key see him on the tier of uh, Derek Brown. Derek Brown, just the two zero AP abilities with inside stuff and double or nothing is why he's still there. And this is what I'm thinking the tier list is looking like before we get into the first cards. And I totally could see the argument for some of these guys going the S, I can see it. I left the uh, Hargrave in A because of his secure tackler ability. And I do think it's really valuable. So yeah, I'm going to keep him A tier. I also left Sam Adams B. He didn't really get much better with the team captain upgrade. Really, again, just not great zero AP abilities, but I still think he can play pretty good. Now the first card of the video right here, we got a slightly lower overall 95. We got Siaki right here of the Cleveland Browns. Picked in round three, pick 98. So he has 77 speed, 89 excel. Really no pass rush at this point. Like this, these are good stats like week one. But good block shit, good impact blocking. He's six foot four, 358 as well. And now let's talk about pass rush traits real quick. So in a dream world, you would want all three of these on yes. And then like 99, 99 for like the best pass rush. But on this card, right? He has slightly higher power moves. So you kind of would just want the bull rush trait on yes now this card just by itself just does not have good pass rush period and when we look at his abilities he gets everything for one ap but doesn't get anything for zero ap which in my opinion right now can you justify spending ap on rushers that are not unstoppable forces i kind of think you can't so for that reason yeah i'm gonna put him f tier uh just really don't think he's as good as like anyone we're gonna cover today now right after that we got Halodi not a 96 overall you can potentially get this card right here for free and i think he's really good he has 84 speed 94 excel has 82 finesse moves slightly lower but 96 power moves 96 block shed 97 impact blocking first traits has bull rush and swim move on yes i think he's very similar to this card right here like when we take a look at him it's essentially this card got minus one stats which i don't think is the biggest deal in the world like are you going to notice 85 compared to 84 speed are you really going to know with how much abilities matter in this game are you really going to notice the difference between the two so in my opinion you can potentially get hello dinata ultimate legend for free and this time for his abilities he gets zero ap inside stuff as well that's exactly what i would run on Helodi nada's ultimate legend card so for me i am literally putting him right by his ultimate legend i think these two cards are pretty much the exact same and right after that we got kalijah canty right here picked in round one pick 19 by the tampa bay bucks really good physical stats could be up to 96 speed right now with the sugar rush track card six foot 280 so he's a little bit like of a smaller defensive tackle but he has 97 finesse moves 93 power moves 95 block shed, 94 impact blocking stats wise is absolutely absolutely amazing and this time for his traits again bull rush and swim move on yes pretty similar to almost every card we covered so far and abilities for him he can get zero ap unpredictable zero ap speedster i would run the zero ap unpredictable on him i don't think he is s tier like i i just i don't think he's s tier but I think he's A. I think he I think he's a really good pass rusher. Now right after that, we got Mozzie Smith right here. That is 6'3, 337, but not really great physical stats. Could be up to 81 speed trigger rush track card. Really low finesse moves. And again, not really great power moves either. But he's a good run defender though. 99 block shed, 97 impact blocking. And for his trait, only has the swim move trait on yes, which is actually so stupid. How the first card we covered, Siaki would only want the bull rush trait on yes. This card would also want that. But he actually only has a finesse move trait on yes, so he's really only going to use a 71 finesse move rating and if we take a look at his abilities he can get a zero ap defensive rally but i do not think this card is great to me i'm gonna go ahead and put him d tier really it's the defensive rally that saves him i like defensive rally for zero but i do not think he's that good of a card now after that we get brian brise right here picked in round one pick 29 by the saints and he can be up to 94 speed 96 excel he's six foot five 305 i really like the way his combine card played too and he essentially got plus two stats everywhere. 82 finesse moves, 95 power moves, great block shit, great impact blocking as well. And this time for his traits, only the bull rush trait on yes, which is actually really, really nice because he's only gonna use his power move rating. So he's actually really great stats wise and his traits actually did him a favor. And this time for his abilities, zero AP defensive rally, zero AP run stopper. I don't think he has the best abilities in the world, but I think they're really, really solid. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and put him in the B tier. I mean, his old card could get run stopper and goal line stuff. I don't really think that's too crazy. Again, 
it's just like plus two stats and i think he gets a slightly better like he's more top in the b for me i could see the argument for a but i just think the zero ap dom people are better and right after that we get 97 overall jordan elliott so jordan elliott can be up to 91 speed sugar rush track card has really good excel with 96 and he's also six foot four 302 and not really great pass rush once again though 88 power moves 81 finesse moves good block check good impact blocking though and for traits this time he does have bull rush and swim move on yes so we'll use both ratings this time for his abilities though he's a zero ap inside stuff player oh this is a tough card to rank because zero ap inside stuff it's not bad at all oh this is tough because it's really just based on the fact that he can get zero ap inside stuff which i think he's better than Corey peters for sure i'm gonna go ahead and put jordan elliott c I'm going to put him right by DJ Jones, too. I just don't think he has the pass rush to be B tier. Now, right after that, we got Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter can be up to 92 speed with the Sugar Rush track card. He is 6'3", 300 pounds, has amazing pass rush with 96 finesse moves, 99 power moves. And he also has great block shed and impact blocking. This time for his traits, he only has the bull rush trait on yes, so he's only going to use his 99 power move rating, which is really, really nice. And if we take a look at his abilities this time, he is someone that can get tackle supreme for zero AP. And if we click on this real quick, see everyone that gets it. It, you can see there's really not a lot of defensive tackles that can get it i believe it's him and hargrave that also can get to tackle abilities so for me jalen carter is going to be someone that is going to go in this s tier and i'm not saying like yes you can make the argument that some people in a are better pass rushers but situationally with that tackle ability i do think he is s tier because if he gets the hands on the x factor running back you don't have to worry about him breaking the tackle which i think is so 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 valuable so yeah jalen carter for me is gonna uh stay in this s tier and right after that we got dexter lawrence dexter lawrence six foot four 342 can be up to 89 speed with the sugar rush track card 95 acceleration finesse moves are a little bit low but great power moves block shed and impact blocking and this time for traits only the bull rush train on yes and i think this card plays like other like level good and if we take a look at his abilities this time he can get El Toro, Inside Step, Reach Elite, and Under Pressure all for zero. Uh, the way he plays, I can see the argument for S tier, but his abilities, man, I just, I don't, I don't see it. For me, he is going to go ahead and be like top in the bay. I really, really like him, and I can see the argument for S, but for me, he's going to be top in the bay tier. And now for the last card of the video, we got Jason Witten at defensive tackle. So he's 6'6", 263 speed rusher with amazing physical stats, can be up to 95 speed with the Sugar Rush track card, 95 excel. Has great finesse moves, great power moves, block shit, and impact blocking all are really, really good. They did him a little bit dirty, though, on traits. Like I was saying with John Madden, though, like John Madden also has no uh, pass rush traits on yes. So this doesn't like make or break a card for me, in my opinion. If we take a look at his ability, this time he is someone that is kind of like what i was saying about jalen carter with the secure tackler four zero and he can get inside stuff as well um for me jason Wynn, i'm going to put him right by jalen carter because again the same exact reason um as a pass rusher i think there are people in a that are better but again that tackle ability four zero given all the aka running backs that you're still playing i think is really really valuable so yeah y'all this has been my updated defensive tackle tier list in madden 23 ultimate team let me know your thoughts down below in the comments what do you agree with what do you disagree with who do you think should go up who do you think should come down now if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in madden 23 now if you want to see me play live use some of these cards live check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow we've been grinding the streams over there so i would greatly appreciate that now if you don't feel like heading over to twitch and you want another video to watch check this one out right here i made an ohio state theme team in madden 23